Hi, welcome to an Arduino step-by-step -step course by RoboJax. Hi, welcome to an Arduino lecture from RoboJax. In this lecture, we are going to learn how we can use this K-type thermocouple with MAX6675 to control a load as a heater or cooler. So we can turn it on and off and keep the temperature in certain range, either as a cooler or as a heater. Let's get started with this. To use it as heater control or cooler control with relay to turn on and off a load. And for that reason I'm using this thermocouple and I'm using this bulb as a heater and cooler. How it works is for heater and cooler we have two different start and stop. For heater I put for heater and cooler you need to have two temperature uh, because you cannot have a one number. For that reason, I put 80 and 100. I put them apart because that demonstration will be easy, but for real application, you might have some something very closer. For example, this might be 80, the start and the stop instead of 100, it might be 85. It's up to you in the code, you can change it. So this is just a demonstration. So how it works for a heater, because we want a heat or certain temperature. Now, when the temperature reaches below 80 degrees Celsius, the heater control will turn on at this point so that's why we call it 80 and our stop is set to be 100 now the heater will turn on at the temperature and the temperature will slowly increase when it reaches 100 degrees we don't want above that uh, the, it will turn off the heater and it will not turn on again until it reaches 80 because this is our range it will stay at this temperature when it goes below 80 it will turn on and if you want to use it for the cooler, the same way we have it, but pay attention, the start was on this side, now the start is on this side. So when the temperature reaches 100 degrees, we don't want this to heat up, so the cooler or refrigerator will turn on at this temperature, for example, and it will reduce the temperature, slowly cool it down. When it reaches at the stop temperature, in this case 80 degrees, the cooler will stop. Below this, this, the cooler is not used anyways, so it is off. The environment temperature will slowly increase when it reaches back to 100 degrees. The cooler will start and again stop at 80, so we will always keep the liquid or whatever you have and within the certain temperature range. Hotter environment, you want to control a cooler with this thermocouple or in a cooler environment, you can want to use a heater to keep the temperature at a certain level. So thermocouple is one of the one of the options because it can go, depending on the type, you can go up to 1000 degrees Celsius or even higher. And here is the wiring diagram for the MAX6675. From this side, this is connected to pin two, three, four, five, and six. So you will not make any mistake here for the relay. One wire from AC is connected to the middle one, preferably this should be the life, and the other wire is connected to the bulb, and from here to the bulb. The right pin is connected to the ground, the middle pin is 5 volts, it has been connected to 5 volts, and the left pin is a signal which is connected to pin 8. And if you're, if you're using this relay, the wires are different, the right pin is the input, has been connected to pin 8, the middle pin is ground, it has been connected to the ground, and the left pin is VCC, this is connected to 5 volts. Now let me explain the wiring for the relay. We have VCC, we have ground, and we have input signal. From the left, this is connected using orange wire to 5 volts. The middle pin is ground, have been connected using red wire to the ground, and the last pin on this side is input, it has been connected to pin 8 here. For this K-type sensor to MAX6675, I've connected all these wires in order, as you can see it. From this side, I'm just inserting them in order here. I'm inserting them from pin 2 to pin 6. 
like that. They are in the same order. For this demonstration, I'm going to use this AC bulb. This is a plug that will be connected to wall outlet and the light will be turned on. At uh, the middle, at this point, I've disconnected the wire, one of the wire, the live wire here, and I've twisted them and prepared them. These two uh, will be connected to the relay. Job of relay is to turn it on by connecting these two wires, turning on the light and disconnecting it, turning it off. So this can be a bulb or a fan or any other load, the same way the relay will connect it and disconnect it. The two wires that I've shown you for the AC bulb is connected to these two terminals of this relay. And if you're using this relay, it will be connected exactly the same way to these two last terminals in here and in here. And for this one, we have here the negative, this will be connected to ground, this is connected to 5 volts, and this pin is the signal or the input, which will be connected to pin 8. Now let me explain the code. We are defining, first you need to download, uh, you should have already watched my introduction to Max 675 this is a library that must be included otherwise this will not work and because because we are using this relay and this thermocouple these both need five volts and you didn't need to use a breadboard for that reason i'm defining here i'm defining here a, a pen a ground pen pen two and vcc pen pen three for the thermocouple and then this clock cs and data out these three pens four five six these are accordingly as they appear on this. So this is uh, ground VCC, clock CS and DO. So they are accordingly so you don't make mistake in terms of wiring. And then from this class, we create an object called thermocouple and we pass these three pins here, the, these three in here with a comma separated. So we pass it to the library and library will prepare it for usage. And uh, now we define a relay pin, pin 8, if you want, you can change it. Relay on, relay off is for the relay module. We define this low and high, so instead of low and high, we know relay on, what it means, so we just use it. And also it makes it very easy if you have a different relay. These relays are low trigger. With low, they will be turned on, and with off, with high, it will be turned off. But if your relay is the opposite, make this high and make this low otherwise do not touch it and relay state is a variable that is holding the initial state of the relay either on or off so i put here relay off so the load will be initially off regardless and then temperature unit here one if you want fahrenheit or kelvin set it to two or three and then start temperature and stop temperature are the two values that you set either for cooler or heater, which I just explained it. And then control type here is important that we put either one or two. If you put one, it will be heater. It will act as a heater. And if you set two, it will be a cooler. This is a variable that is holding the temperature. Inside the setup, we initialize a serial monitor. So this can be printed. And then we print this text. After that, we're using pin mode, relay pin. We set this pin as an output. And immediately using digital write relay pin, we set it as relay state, either uh, on and off. And then we go for the VCC pin. We, we set this pin as an output. And then immediately we set it high, so this will give us a 5 volts. And then gra uh, ground pin for the relay, we set it as an output. And we set it as low, so this will give us 0 or ground. And then we wait 500 milliseconds for the module to r get ready. Inside the loop, we use read temperature. So this must be inside the loop. Every time loop runs, it goes to this function, which I'm going to explain it. it this reads the temperature. And print temperature is a function that is printing that temperature in here.
and load control is a function that needs to control the load if you comment this the relay will be turned off it will not work and here if you want to do something with temperature let's say if you want to check if the temperature is greater than or equal 89.5 and you want to do something between the two curly parenthesis curly parenthesis take the action inside this and then we have 1000 millisecond delay after one second it reads if you want to slow it or speed it up change this if you reduce this number it will read faster and if you increase it it will read slower now relay control a load control is a function that we check if control type is equal one we say if relay state temperature start temperature is greater than temperature and stop temperature is also greater than temperature then we use relay control on in this case it will work for cooler but also in the same uh, for the heater also we check if the stop temperature is lower than temperature then we turn off the relay this else is for the cooler so this portion acts for the cooler exactly the same except we have just changed uh, the relay on and relay off uh, the rest is exactly the same and then relay control is a function when you send the relay state as on and off we check if it is on we send relay pin as relay on so we send high to this pin or low and depending on the type of the relay otherwise we send different one in this case this was on we send low and this was off we send high and also this is printing the text on the serial monitor now read temperature is a function that is from k type sensor from a thermocouple if the unit is equal to we get the temperature in fahrenheit and set the temperature variable if it is three then it means get the temperature add it add this value to it so it be it will be kelvin otherwise else means otherwise it's celsius so we read the celsius temperature this is printing the temperature this is just printing the temperature in here and then after that this symbol and then c so we print degree this is a function that is at the bottom of the code and here after that we just print f k or c depending on the type if that unit is 2 we print f if the unit is 3 we print k else mean otherwise we print c and then we put a new line so it goes to the next line every time it reads and here print degree these are two hex value that makes that this degree symbol here the circle small circle and that's the full explanation of the code now let me demonstrate the heater control for heater control we set this to one and in heater control pay attention to the start because we are starting at this point because we want the uh, we want the temperature to be a certain level or higher now the temperature when it reaches below 80 degrees the heater will turn on the heater will stay on until it reaches to the stop point which we set in our code to be 100 now at 100 degrees it will stop and it will stay off until it reaches 80 degrees it will not be on here when it reaches that stop stop is just stopping it when it reaches at 80 again it will start and the cycle will continue now the temperature is around 60 degrees and as you can see the heater is on because it is below this and the heater is on and it's trying to heat it up now we are using a heat gun to heat it up to reach this 100 to see if, if it turns off and when it reaches back at 80 it will turn on now let me apply heat now at 100 degrees the heater is now turned off 
because we don't want any temperature above this and it will cool down slowly until it reaches 80 degrees again it will turn on now the heater is turned on and the cycle will continue the same way now let me explain the cooler control we have a start temperature of 100 degrees celsius and a stop temperature of 80 initially the temperature increases and reaches 100 degrees the cooler will start or it will turn on and running until it reaches 80 degrees and it will stop because below this we don't need it then when the temperature increases this will not turn on here because the starting point is at 100 so it allows it to reach 100 and when it reaches 100 degrees then the cooler will start so you can adjust this if you want to have a narrow control uh, area for temperature currently it shows 62 degrees and waiting when it reaches 100 degrees it will turn on let me apply heat with this heat gun Seventy. So now it will reach at 100 and now this is our cooler. The cooler is turned on and when the temperature reaches at 80 it will stop. Now you see it is 127 degrees because it's a metal and it when I blow it slowly it penetrated now in, inside so that's why it's very hot so at 80 it will turn off now now the relay is off and the load is off and it will be off until the temperature reaches back to 100 to turn it on thank you for watching this was how to use this thermocouple sensor as a heater or cooler control with relay and arduino please give me a feedback on my course by writing a review it's really appreciated thank you please make sure to subscribe by clicking at the subscribe button in here thank you Thank you for watching this tutorial from Robojax. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, please post it at the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. And don't forget to subscribe so you get updates of my upcoming videos.